munchkin man. Like a banana munchkin man. Banana munchkin man. Like a banana munchkin man. Banana munchkin man. Like a banana munchkin man. Banana munchkin man. Hey there, uh, what, what was your name again? Barry. Barry, right. Uh, here's the thing, Bear. I got an interview coming up in a little bit, and uh, usually I usually have Diane do a little pre-screen for these people, but since she's out sick, you're gonna be the man for the job. All you gotta do is just ask them a couple questions, let me know if it goes well, we'll schedule them for another interview. You want me to do an interview? Yeah, sounds Andrew great, Barry. Thanks for doing this. You're the best. Nine thirty. So nice to meet you. I'm Barry Johnson. Thank you. So, did you bring a copy of your resume for me to take a look at? Um, no, actually, I, I guess I assumed you'd have a copy since I emailed it. I have a copy. That's just one of those trick questions you're supposed to ask in an interview. <laughs> so, what is your name? Um, Moonflower Fairchild. Yeah, it is. Great name, by the way. Great name. So, uh, Ms. Fairchild, it says here you worked for Consolidated Services LLC for the last eight years. Why the change now? Mm, I don't know, you know, I just thought about it a bit. Uh huh. So when's the last time you've been to the doctor? The doctor? Mm-hmm. Uh, this job does require lifting the ability to lift 20 pounds or more. Okay, um, last April, I think, I meant. Last April? Everything fine? No osteoporosis? It didn't come up. Okay. I will mark you here as physically fit. Sorry, what I meant to say was, uh, what do you think your greatest strength as a potential employee would be? Um, well, I have great organizational skills and attention to detail. Oh. Okay. And just one more thing. Uh, how many pull-ups do you think you were able to do in the fourth grade? Uh, what do you mean? Sorry. I was referring to the presidential physical fitness test. How many pull-ups in the fourth grade? You're asking me how many pull-ups I did over 20 years ago? Mm hmm Um, 17, I think. Very good. Well, do you have any questions for me? No, I guess not. Well, Ms. Fairchild, I will definitely be recommending you for a follow-up. Oh, thank you for coming. Drive safe. Okay. Bacon. Bacon. What is the bacon for? Is that really a question? It's bacon, Barry. You told me to only eat bacon and nothing else if you didn't have such high blood pressure. But since you're asking, I was going to make chicken BLTs for dinner. And maybe bacon and eggs for breakfast. I approve of this plan. <laughs> well, good. Oh, as long as I don't have to cook the chicken. No chicken. You know how I am with raw chicken. Mm-hmm. There's the bacon. Boar's head? Yes. 
Hey, Barry. Do you love me? Well, of course. So how was your day? It was a day. That's good. I kept getting calls from a telemarketer today. They were trying to invite us to Bridal Rama. I'm not sure how they got my number. Oh yeah? I wish we'd gotten the chance to go to a convention like that. There are so many creative things we could have done. I'm going to watch some TV. Don't stay up too late. I'm Chiquita Banana and I've come to say Bananas have to ripen in a certain way And when they're flecked with brown and have a golden hue Bananas taste the best and are the best for you Hey, Bear. You can put the... Moonflower. Good call on that one. Okay. She's gonna work out great. She'll be in today after orientation, about one o'clock. Pretty cute, too. All right. I'm in a salad. Grapes? No, not yet, my dear. That greenish way you're looking means that you are ripe for cooking. Barry, I put a cookie in there since it's your first time. What kind? Open a raisin. Thank you. Go your meal. Have a good day. Hello, Moonflower. Oh. Hey, Barry, how are you? Good, good. You got the job. Yeah, I did. Thanks. I'm excited to be here. Well, we're happy to have you. Hey, where did, where did you get that? Oh, my necklace? Mm -hmm. uh, it was a gift from my grandmother. Why? Oh. There's something familiar about it. I don't know, like I'd seen it before. Anyway, welcome abroad. I'm gonna go to bed.
Barry, Barry. Honey, you slept through your alarm. You're gonna be late for work. What's with the wine glass in your hand? Did you sneak a drink last night? I don't think I've seen that glass before. Where did it come from? <sighs> I must have been drinking. Oh, my head is pounding. <sighs> His name is Squeak. Squeak the Squirrel. When a squirrel whistles, others stop and listen. What do you think the whistles mean? Sir, are you not going to work today then? All Shit. day long, Squeak looks for seeds and nuts. He eats some food where he finds it, and some he carries away to his nest in the ground. Hey, Bear. You got any plans for lunch? All right, Bear, tell me a little bit about yourself. I'm not really sure what you want to know. All right, all right. I'll go first. Uh, I'm Andrew Sands. Fucking hate real estate. My dad spent his entire life in the business, and he'd be real disappointed if I didn't ruin my life, too. So here I am. Uh, I go bowling on Wednesdays. Uh, single. Drink Heineken. Uh, like to fiddle around my bass guitar, and uh, I know this place has got the best goddamn chili in town. Am I right? It's, it's good. It's good. All right, so you go. I'm Barry Johnson. I have a bachelor's degree in business administration. I met my wife, Sylvia, in spreadsheet analysis class. Um, she was my first girlfriend. We've been married like 13 years. That is crazy. You're telling me there's an entire class dedicated to spreadsheets? <laughs> yeah. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I wake up, I go to work, I come home, I eat dinner. Sometimes I'll work more at the dinner table and I watch TV and I go to sleep. There's nothing else. Very, very, very. There's gotta be more to you, man. You gotta have a hobby or something. Well, of course I have hobbies. I used to put model cars together when I was a kid. I had a really good pog collection. That's cool, I... that's cool. Barry, here's the thing. I'm starting a band and uh, I just need to know, can you sing? I can sing. Perfect, it's settled. So how was work? It was fine. I uh, had lunch with my boss today. Yeah? It was good, I hope. It was good. I think I just joined his band. <laughs> you joined a band? No, seriously. So he plays bass guitar and he said he wanted me to sing. And how are you gonna fit in a band? You seem to barely have enough time to eat dinner with me. We haven't gone on a date in over a year now. I can make time. For us to do something? I don't know. Look, maybe he was just joking, but I'm pretty sure I'm in a band. Well, sounds like lunch went well. I'm gonna get ready for bed. Don't stay up too late. You'll just be working again in the morning anyways.
Blueberry. Hi, Angela. What's up? Not much. Hey, when did you get that? Olive. My mom got it for my birthday. Did you see the girl yet? What girl, you? No, the one in the woods. She said she wanted to see you. A girl in the woods? Yeah, you coming? Okay, I need to let my mom know I'm going with you. Um, she insisted. Let's go. some toads in the creek. Okay, I'll stay here. Bye. Bye. Oh, hey, Bear. What's up, man? Come on in. What's up, man? I'm so pumped right now. This is going to be awesome. Everybody's already set up out back, tuning up right now. Okay. Dude, I haven't been in a band since high school. This is going to be sweet. Uh-huh. All right, check it out. This is Erica. This is Bill. This is Bear. Hello. Hey. We're practicing on a deck. Yeah, man. That would be the most authentic way. 
It's like we're in an arena, and all these blades of grass are our screaming fans. This is me, then, I guess. Um, just so you guys know, I've never been in a band before, so I hope I don't let you down. You can do great, Bear. Come on, guys. Are you serious? This is a family neighborhood. Get fucked, Steve. So what do we do now? Jam out, man. I guess. Has anybody got any musical ideas? Fresh out myself. I don't know, man. I'll just bang around to whatever you play. Hey, I got a riff. Count us off, Erica. I wasn't paying, so I had to pay him a visit and, you know, take his finger. Huh? I mean, yeah, it's hard, like, getting through the bone when somebody's just bleeding like a son of a bitch and they're yanking away the whole time. God, Angela! I mean, I felt bad, like, being his ring finger and all. <coughs> it left him a little stump, just in case, you know, he would, like, put his wedding ring back on it or something. <sighs> Look, you know what? I just hope he starts paying because, really, this is, like, my least favorite part of the job. I, mean, I wasn't smart like you, Barry. I didn't go to school and get myself a legitimate career. Regardless, where is it that you work again? It's for some guy. I mean, he loans people money. I've never even met him. And from what I hear, I don't want to either. People say that he's super duper short and yellow. Yeah, that's an amazing bit of trivia, okay? Dude, I don't know. I think maybe you should just quit your job. I. Maybe. I, look, I don't know. I think it's going to come back and bite you. Maybe I've seen too many mobster movies, but... It's not the mob, Barry. But it's the best paying job I've ever had in my life. Tons of downtime. I get to hang out. Come on. <sighs> Whatever. To each their own. Yes. I just... Remind me to never borrow money outside of a bank. Noted. <gasps> oh, Jesus. You're the one who said cardio! You said cardio! Why did I even let you talk me into this? You know I suck at tennis. All right, all right, all right. You wanna go get a beer? Is that more your speed? Oh shit. What? I forgot about the puppy. Yep, he's dead.
that shit's not clearing up anytime soon, is it? No. No. It's too expensive to do anything about. Mm. How's Sylvia feel about him? I don't know. How's she doing? I don't know. She's Sylvia. She's fine, I guess. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what do you think about this eclipse coming up? What eclipse? Um, well, I've been reading a lot about it. Uh, there's this little tiny town that supposedly had aliens come and visit the last time an eclipse occurred. And uh, they're claiming that the aliens are coming back. Oh, hey. You want to hear something really weird? Always. Okay. Do you remember... God, it was years ago. It was just right after my seventh birthday. You took me to go meet this girl who was digging a hole in the woods. Digging a hole? In the woods. In the woods. It was back when we lived in Colerain. Oh, Mary. yes, 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 yes. I remember, and that chick was weird. She was weird, and somehow she knew you by name, which I'll never figure out. She did. I, I, think, I think she's working with me now. No shit. After, she remember you? I, no, 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 no. I didn't want to say anything. I mean, I didn't want to seem creepy, but I don't know. She, every now and then I catch her looking at me, and just with this little glint that says that she knows. I forgot all about that. So weird. Oh God. Her name yeah. is Moonflower Fairchild. <laughs> Are you serious? You can't write that shit. You're serious? Yeah. Wow. That's great.
be happening. Barry. Barry. What the hell happened, Barry? Are you okay? What is this? Ugh. What is going on? You know what? I don't want to know. I don't know how much this is going to cost to fix. Good morning, Barry. Hey, Bear. Whoa. You look like crap, man. Did you get any sleep last night? It was a long night. Well, I hope you're ready for this evening for our big debut. I have not forgotten, believe me. Yeah. You pumped? Kind of nervous, actually. I haven't been on stage since third grade, talent show. I tried to juggle eggs. It's not a good memory. Yeah? Well, tonight is going to be awesome. Bow, 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 bow. My favorite and yours, Banana Munchkin Man!
Thank you. You're welcome. That's the best show you've ever had, man. I know it's our first show, but it's the best one you've ever had. How you doing? You guys were great tonight. Can I get a picture? Hell yeah, man. Come on, man. Let's get a picture with this guy. It's our guy right here, man. Sounds like rock and roll. <laughs> Moonflower! Sorry. Thank you for coming. Sure, no problem. The, the band was really great. Uh-huh. I'm glad Andrew mentioned it. Uh-huh. What are you doing now? Um, leaving. You sure you're okay to drive? I mean, I can give you a ride. Do you want a ride? Thanks for the ride. Oh. Don't even mention it. I'm just happy to be of help. So, um, we were in my dream last night. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yep. Good. Is that a good thing? I hope. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you lived in this little strange house by a, the railroad tracks. I, I assumed that it was your house. I mean, you were in it. <laughs> and you had tea and this plate of Amazing cookies. Sounds fun, I guess. <laughs> mm -hmm. Hey, cookies were just delicious. I couldn't stop eating them, and I don't even think you had a chance to try some. How the heck did you make those? Um. Oh. Yeah. Dream. Remember me? Remember you from what? Childhood. You're probably about eight. My friend Angela introduced me to this girl who was digging in the woods. Oh. Oh, yeah, I, I don't think that was me. Are you sure? It had to be you. Um. This is my apartment. Oh. Thanks for the ride. Thanks for the cookies. Bear, lunch. Man, that show last night, we killed it. The audience loved us, man. You think so? Oh, yeah. Ba -ba -ba Banana Munchkin, man. Wah, wah, wee. I'm telling you, I think we got a hit on our hands. That riff is so catchy, and your lyrics every time hit me right in the feels, man. It's nothing special. It's just what comes to mind. That is precisely why you are a great lyricist. I'm telling you, do you think when George Washington sat down to write maggot brain that he wrote it all out and thought about it or when Jimi Hendrix wrote the Star Spangled Banner they just played from the heart you're a natural kid you think so absolutely banana munchkin man Yes. Yes. Who, who is this? No, who the hell is this? Well, I don't think that sounds very smart. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, 11 o'clock. Can you just tell me who this is? Mom. 
long day at work. Yep. You missed a good dinner. I made egg salad sandwiches. I saved you two for lunch tomorrow. That's great. Did you manage to get anything to eat? Yes, I ate plenty. Look, I know something's been wrong. Lately, you've been distant and frankly, doing some bizarre things. I'm reminded of that right now because it's stuffy in here. But I can't turn the ceiling fan on. Is work getting too stressful? Yeah, that must be it. Well, maybe I can help relieve some of your stress. As long as you promise to put the ceiling fan back up tomorrow. And what time is it? Time? 10.42. Barry, what's going on? I'll be back later. I completely forgot I have a meeting. A meeting? A meeting. I will be back Barry, later. come back! Sit down. Here? You want me to sit down on the ground? Okay, okay. I can sit. I can sit. So are you going to tell me why you brought me here? Funny being a banana. Uh, you think it's fucking funny? Uh, you see me laughing, you arrogant prick. You uh, see me fucking laughing? I didn't choose to be a banana. It's a calling. It's a gift from God. And there I am, sitting in my fucking nightclub, sipping on a martini, and there's an arrogant prick singing that fucking song, insulting me. I'm so sorry. Okay, for one, I never want to see you at my nightclub again. Got it? Got it, got it, got it. Two, I never want to hear that you're singing that fucking song again. Got it? Got it, got it. Hope we never meet again.
Hi, Sylvia. even know why I'm doing this. Where did you go last night? What are you doing all the way over here at this grocery store? My car ran out of gas. Does your girlfriend live out here? You do have a girlfriend, right? Barry, I'm done with this. If you don't want to be with me, just leave. I don't know what's been going on, but I can't live like this. Shit, man. Come on in. Thanks. So, what's going on, man? Why the disheveled look? Last night, I got this shit kicked out of me by a man dressed like a banana. Whoa, whoa. What now? Last night, a man in a banana costume kicked this shit out of me. A banana. A banana. So let me get this straight, Bear. You were just sitting around, minding your own business. All of a sudden you get attacked by a banana? Where do you even meet a banana? No, no, no. I got a call asking me to meet someone behind the Anderson Shopping Center. And because I'm an idiot, I went. And it was him. Look, Bear, it's okay. Maybe you drank a little too much last night. It's okay. Maybe the old lady kicked you out of the house for the night. It's okay. Look, frankly, it's none of my business. Thing is, we're friends, man. You don't need to make up some story about some sort of anthropomorphized fruit attack. Thanks. Andrew, I gotta tell you, I have to quit the van too. Whoa, 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 Bear, look, it's fine. It's fine, you got attacked by a banana, I'll believe you. You don't need to be so touchy. You don't need to quit the band over that. No, I have no business being the front man for a band. No business at all. Nobody wants to see me up there. I am fat and I am awkward and I have no business being on stage in front of people. What the frick kind of band has the bassist uh, come on stage in between songs and say something? Because I'm too sheepish to do it. You would be a lot better off without me. Whatever, man. 
It's fine. You want another band? You're out. I'll break news to Erica and Bill tonight. Look, don't think I'm gonna forget about this come review time. What? No, I'm just fucking with you. Now get the fuck out of my office. Hey, Mooney. <sighs> Thank you so much for last night. I thought for sure I'd still be bloodied up today. Excuse me? Last night. I guess technically this morning. You know, in the woods? You don't remember? I didn't ever want to let you go. I just wish I could hold you forever. Um, Barry, I have to make a phone call. I understand. Big boss man wants to see you. Big boss man? You mean Mr. Elkhorn? Yeah, Bear. Elkhorn. Come on, I'll walk you up. This is good, right? Johnson. Yes, sir. Andrew, thanks. Go. Have a seat, Barry. It's come to our attention that you've been making one of our new hires uncomfortable. Does that sound familiar to you? Possibly, but it certainly wasn't my intention. We have a zero tolerance policy here for such things. Do, do I make myself clear? Mr. Elkhorn, I swear it will never happen again. So when this came to my attention, we checked our records and discovered we had eight spreadsheet analysts here. Now, I don't know how that happened, and you might say, so what? But we only have room for seven spreadsheet analysts here. Now, I haven't had to lay anyone off in years, but we also don't have spreadsheet analysts making their coworkers so uncomfortable that they have to leave in the middle of the day. Sir, I swear it will never, ever happen again. I know, because effective now, you are no longer employed at this firm. My colleagues will escort you to your former office, collect your personal effects, and then they'll escort you out of the building. You will be paid for the remainder of the day, and we will fax your paycheck to you. You will never set foot in this building again. Do I make myself clear? Yes, I understand. Good. Do you have any questions before you leave? Just one. Are you the banana man? What did you say? What did you say? I'm sorry. Do you think it's funny being a banana? Do you think it's funny to be a fucking banana? Get out of my office. I'm sorry. 
Am I supposed to go with you?
Barry, are you okay? Did they do anything to you? No! They just gave me this beer! I think they were friends! Oh. I, I saw them flying overhead, and I followed them here, and then I saw you, and obviously I had to react. Maybe I overreacted? <sighs> There's more beer in this cooler thing. Good call. Sure is a good day. Yep. I should probably get on home. Sylvia's gonna wonder what's taking me so long. All right, Barry. See you later. Your head up. 